What's up guys, uh, welcome back to this channel World of VFX and this is the very first video of Blender English tutorial and this will be completely starting from the just beginner or you can call this just like a scratch. Let's get started. Alright guys, so you are right now in Blender 3D and this is the very first user interface of 3.6. So whenever you open Blender for the first time, you can see this type of interface which is pretty seamless and pretty amazing. So here are the new files what you need to create anything new which is general, 2D animation, sculpting, VFX, also video editing as well. Also if you have any previous file, you can simply go to open and you can access those files. Also, these are the my random last recent projects. You can simply click and open all this from here. If you click anywhere, it will gone. Also, if you want to turn it back, you can simply click here and enable this splash screen and you can find this option once again. All right, so this is Blender and 3.6 again. So let me tell you what are the things here. I'll describe the entire process in very, very easy way. So first of all, this is called the toolbar like moving tools, rotation, scale, transform and this is annotation and all. I'll come later about that. This is called our very own viewport using help of the middle mouse. You can simply rotate this. Okay, this is the shortcut or you can call it the controls. So by default, you'll get a light, you'll get a camera, also you'll get a geometry. If you don't want anything on your scene, just press A on your keyboard to select everything and you can simply press delete. But before deleting, I just want to show you something. Whenever you press A, this will select. This is called as you like layer controls. This user interface is actually similar to Unreal Engine. This area is basically, this is basically your layers where you have all the things and this is the controllers. Also, you'll find this area as well. I'll come later about that. So again, select A and press delete. It will completely do this. Now this viewport is completely infinite. You can do whatever you want to do. So this is called axis like Z, X, Y, and there are multiple axes. Also, you can control it from here. Also, you can control it from here as well. Now to add some geometries, you can press Shift A on your keyboard. So you can access all the things like mesh. You can find out plane, cube, circles, UV sphere, isosphere, anything. So let's make you one circle. So this will be a circle. Shift A and let's make a cone. So this is a cone. Shift A, let's make a cube once again. Now if you want to move this cube, the shortcut is G. By pressing G, you can move the cube. Now if you want to move it in specific direction, you can simply press G and move and then like Y to move it in Y axis. If you press X, it will go to directly X axis. Also if you press Z, it will go to Z axis. As simple as that. Okay, so here I'm moving it in Y direction like this and remove it. That's it. If you press R on your keyboard, it will enable the rotation. So you can rotate it just like this randomly and it will rotate completely from their pivot point. Now, if you want to rotate again in a specific direction, now you can press X. So now it will rotate only on X direction. If you press Y, it will rotate in Y direction and again Z for Z axis rotation. It's actually very, very simple. All right. The same process is applied for this also. Now if you want to move anything normally you can simply pressing this and you can move it in any specific directions just like this. Now if I rotate something like this in a normal way you can find out the axis are still there. Okay so you can change the axis from global to local. So now what happened if you move your cube the axis is also moving. So now we can move on this direction also in this direction as well. Nice, right? If you feel the video is helpful for you, definitely subscribe right now. Also, this area is called timeline. If you play, it will simply start playing just like this. If you pause, backward play, forward play. This is a key to key. Like if you have any specific keyframes enabled, you can simply jump between those keyframes. This is the last frame. This is the first frame. And this is called auto key. Now, let me show you one very simple animation. If you turn this on, now I have this cube. I'll just select a rotation tool by pressing R and I'll rotate in any direction like this. And I'll go to the last frame, which is 250 number frame. And again, I rotate it in any other direction. You can simply see one keyframe is putting up here. It means it automatically giving the keyframes based on your movement. Now if we'll play, you can simply see the animation is happening. All right, so now let me show you one more thing, the editable mode. So first of all, let me delete everything and now shift A, mesh and plane. Now this is the plane. So if you want to see in wireframe mode, you can simply go here and enable this wireframe. So now you are in wireframe mode. Basically you can see solid plus wireframe. Okay, now if you press tab, you will definitely go to the edit mode. So now you can see this one, two, three, four vertices here. So if you want to increase the vertices, right click, subdivide. So now 
you can simply enable the subdivision with the help of multiple subdivisions also you can increase the subdivisions from here as well if you increase you can see the cuts are getting increasing just like this it's very simple and also if you want to make some smoothing you can simply make some smoothness over here now if you want any fractal or displacement you can simply use this this will create some fractals over here and after that if you want to make it more smoother right click you can simply press subdivide it more now more subdivision more details now tab once again to get back to its normal view and if you notice this is pretty you know sharp and low poly mode so make it more smoother right click and shade a smooth now it will become more smoother Control z to make it back once again so this is the low poly mode and there's the smoothing mode now press delete once again simply i'll take one more plane here scale it up tab and you can find out this is called editable mode where you can find this extrude interface bevel and all i'll come this all tools later in more in-depth tutorial this is the very first beginning if you are trying to open blender for the very first time this video will help you a lot that's why i'm creating the video now talking about this area this is very very important so let me show you what exactly it is so first of all coming to this area and this area this is like a normal viewport orientation this area is called the render panel so in blender we have few rendering options like eve and then workbench and the cycles my personal choice is always cycles but if you want to render for like 3d with without texture then you can use this workbench also you can render it in eve obviously in cycles you need to get a very good amount of gpu as you all know blender cycles renders is completely dedicated for gpu based renders not like cpu based renders so each and every render settings have different different setups so if you comment then i'll create definitely each and every renders in detail videos next is all about the resolutions like in which format you want to render it out like this is 1920 by 1080 which is our full HD if you want to increase it like 2560 the resolution will increase okay now this is the frame rate this is the range in crop so let me show you how exactly it will work so if you press shift a and you will get a camera from here just like this and if you want to view whatever you want to see it here right now simply press ctrl alt and zero so this will be your viewport now if you change the resolution the camera resolution will also change now if you don't want to use this area this is like unwanted area simply click this so what happened only this area will render not this area if you scroll down you'll find the output properties where you really want to render it out your renders next i'll show you this option which is called world this is basically the lighting option so if you want to lighten up your scene you can simply use this so if i'll press this this will create the lighting option so right now there is no light in your scene that's why it's looking like this only so if you just go and click the sky texture you can find out one light is suddenly getting changed and if you click here you can simply directly go to your render camera now let me show you one mesh let's say cube and scale it down a bit so now you can see the cubes are interacting with the cube now one more thing if you notice the sun disk is not available in eve so it means this sky texture method is not working in eve rendering mode so you just need to change it to cycles now you can see the shadows are coming up here like this so obviously guys if you're watching this video right now this is your first time blender render congratulations now if you notice the device is cpu by default make it to gpu compute to make it more faster and more efficient now if you go down in world settings you can find out many sun settings like intensity evolution and also the rotation if you rotate the light will rotate it like this only next the most important most favorite part of mine which is the modifiers here you'll get um, tons of modifiers which you can use anything let me show you one single modifier which is called array the most favorite modifier from my end if you click this array it will basically multiply the boxes now the count is two if you increase the count is become more if you increase the x-axis direction now you can see the array modifier are actually multiplying the boxes in x-axis if you increase in y it will directly increasing in y-axis you have many many modifiers from here again guys comment me below right now if you want a dedicated video in this modifiers then i'll definitely create a modifier based videos in this channel next is particles if you want to generate some particles you can simply click and create some particles from here this is basically particle properties if you just press plus you will get tons of particles from here like this make it to here so this is basically here particles see 
there's a multiple hairs are creating in just one single click i'll not go in depth because this is not a particle tutorial simply press minus to make it back to normal and then it's called physics properties if you want to create some fluid simulation cloth simulation you can do everything it from here okay after that is constraints this is basically the location constraints like rotation constraint this is basically helps you to adjust something with other animation i'll create another dedicated video on this for sure now this is called the materials properties if you select any model from here and if you press plus you can create a material from here now if you press new the material will comes up here like this now if you want to change the color you can simply change the color it from here and it will directly apply it from here as well all right so after that last is called textures if you have any specific texture if you have custom textures you can really create it from here all right after whenever you're happy if you want to render it out you can simply go to this render and render image so it will start rendering just like this so guys there are multiple things in blender i know this is a very short sweet tutorial but yes if you are new in this blender industry and if you're trying to use blender for the first time i am pretty sure this video will help you a lot if you feel this video is helpful then definitely subscribe to our channel world of vfx because this is free for you but hit the subscribing this will help you a lot